Hello and welcome to another Night Shift. Today we want to make sure that our player can only log in once. Just before it was uh, like you open a client, log on with, for example, player with the, the login account 2, and you open another one, log in with 2, log in with 2, log in with 2, and so on. So uh, I want to show you that we just start the game going for our known player 2-2 two, two, and he's logging on i hopeful there he is and if we open another client where it is it's over here the another client is there and we want to try to log in with two and two and we say log in nothing happens for that to work we need to add a few things to our uh, account table base so we stop that and go to our workbench and in our workbench we see our across game here and we got in the table account you just right click on it and say alter table and you add two new columns i call them login time and log out time and it's a uh, date time and just uh, the default is null and so we just fill it anyway with information direct so and uh, just hit apply after we edit that and say finish and if we now go to our table and say select rows we just get here the new columns and uh, as you can see here is already the two we logged in before uh, with the login time and the log it, log out time. So next we have to work on our let's get that uh, login plugin. So um, I just added here in our install section the variables. Uh, for um, creating the table if we are a new or if we have a new plugin so um, that will be generated also it's just login time data time or date time and logout time date time so then as next we want uh, or we know we bound ourselves in the login plugin to the on server message and now we want to bind ourselves to the on player disconnect. So if a player disconnects, we just want to uh, know that. And so we have a function here, it's on player disconnect. And we go here and uh, the default uh, stuff we get in this is the connection service con. It's basically the same, um, as the uh, connections or the uh, stuff which go in, uh, will, which is tran uh, transmitted to the on server message but this time it's only the connection so at first we're going to check if we are logged in so for that we go uh, and create a boolean uh, is logged in and we set it to false and then we look in our connection and if the da connection has data um, and uh, it will look on our plugin with the name. Um, in this case, it's login plugin.name. And we look if there is a variable called is logged in. If we got that, then we're going to say is logged in is uh, a bool. It's uh, from the connection dot get data in the plugin. And uh, it's the uh, value of is logged in. So if we are logged in, is logged in is true so and if is logged in is true we want to do a couple things for the first we want to have our id of the connection as you all remember we set next to the is logged in the user id variable with an uh, int and we want to store that in a uh, variable id and then we have a date time. Uh, in this case, it's the log out time and it's equal to the date time dot now. So next is we try 
and we use the dark rift server dot database dot execute non query and we update our table and set the logout time equals to the query parameter add logout time where id is at id next is we set the new query parameters which is for the logout time the log uh, underscore logout time we defined over here and for the id it's the id we just got there out of our connection and if we have debug on we want to lock that and uh, going for uh, user logged out uh, and we lock the id and we lock the logout time next we just catch the database exception if there's an error in the database uh, we just uh, want to see if we are on debug mode that uh, error you know that already it's just the plain stuff for database connections so for the next we want to go into our uh, login section so we go going to the subject uh, login subject user login and there we go into the stuff where we already got one row back if the user and the password is correct in that we just uh, generate a date time and i called it uh, underscore login time and it's the date time dot now and after that we try and use the database rift database execute non query and we update our table account and set the login time is equal to uh, query parameter at login time where the id is at query parameter id and then we just can generate two, two new query parameters which is login time and underscore login time as a value and its id as uh, id as the value and then we're going to if debug and uh, so uh, if we if the debug is running we want to give out the line where the id Let's scroll in out there in there a little bit and the login time is uh, um, also uh, put out in the uh, interface log of course you can use the color uh, dot log if you want that if you don't remember that it's just down here lock color you can use that of course so um, after we um, well, where it is there um, after that we catch the exception from this database and uh, if we have debug on then we just uh, want to say it's failed somewhere so we build that we're going to save and say build build plugin everything is okay then we want to oh i have the server still open so i close that and we go into our builds no we go into our assets no across server plugin source login plugin login plugin bin debug login copy and go into plugins right shift insert and we replace that go for dark rift server and we go into unity we make that a little bit smaller so start that going for three three login there's our character three he's working of course running works and then we go into the workbench and do an update and you see here we get a login time here and if we log out let's say there just stop that and we do an update we can see the logout time is also there 
So all uh, what's left is to compare the login time uh, to the uh, logout time. And so if the logout time is bigger than login time, then everything is okay. If the login time is bigger than the logout time, then we still logged in. So back to our login. So for comparing the uh, both times uh, to each other, we of course need them out of the database. And for that, we do and change in the select. There was an, uh, we selected ID from table account and now we want to select star from table account. So in our row, which we got back here, there is now the username, password ID, login time and logout time. Then uh, if we receive one row, we make two variables. It's the date time, login time. Uh, I called it that and it's just a row login time. And I created a variable logout t uh, for the logout time. And it's the variable of the dictionary logout time. So after that, I compare the both uh, to each other. So um, there's a function date time dot compare and we compare the first value with the second value. And if the first value is uh, bigger than the second value, we get an integer back, which is greater than zero. And if that's the case, we just want, want to return on bailout of this function. If we receive something like uh, um, the uh, logout time is bigger than the login time, then uh, we just get an, uh, um, smaller than zero. And if they both the same, we get an equal back. So we're just looking for the greater one. So if we are greater zero, then we know we are still logged in and we just return out of this function. So to that work uh, or to make that working, we have to be sure there is a date time in our row and that's easy made. We just go all the way down to our, uh, where it is, there it is, to our add user function. And uh, until now, we just added the username and the user password into our table account. So now we want to add the login time and the logout time also to the database. And we just fill that with uh, values. So you go for the value name login time and logout time. And I added that here. It's just a new query parameter with the name login time. And as a value, I uh, just put in the date time dot now. And as the logout time, um, also a date time dot now. So if we are changed from one second to the other, could be that uh, the logout time is one second bigger, but uh, uh, since we um, check for the login time is bigger than the logout time, uh, it's no big deal at all. If you would change that the other way around, it could be a strange uh, thing if somehow we just in the second change. So make sure you get a logout time later than the login time. So, well, let's just um, build that and copy that. I did that already, of course. And we're going to check here and we'll make a new character. Let's say we make uh, 2323, 2323, two, three, and say add user. We're going here, whatever, make something happen here. And we call him someone and we save him to the database and he is logged on. Of course, he was logged on before uh, in the character screen also. But um, anyway, so we just control that. And you see there's here's the user 2323. And um, you see both are the same. Uh, since it was the same second we 
we uh, did that all so we just log out there and get it new so you see it's just one uh, 30 seconds uh, logged in and we go in there again just to make sure two three two three two three two three log in and if we go now there there should be 145 and that's 138 so that's bigger we can't log in there so that's all for our Highlander um, modification from our login plugin so if you liked it press on the like button if you like it even more of course just uh, subscribe to my channel i hope you had fun happy night shift Thank you.